Namaste friends, I hope you are doing fine. What happens when I receive data in an image format within an email? Let me demonstrate with an example. This is an image containing a data table which I received in an email. The best way to copy the data into an Excel file is to type it into the cells. But it would be very tedious if the image contained a lot of data. I am Subhojit and I welcome you to this exciting session where I will share an alternative to convert data in image format to text using Power Query. Let's get started. We need a picture file with text or data table. Even a screenshot would suffice. I use the shortcut Windows key plus Shift plus S to take screenshots on my laptop. You can use your favorite tool for this purpose. Second, we need Microsoft 365 version or any older version which is equipped with Power Query. On older versions of Office software, Power Query can be installed as an add-in. Now I will switch over to Gmail and try to zoom the picture that I have received in an email. I can click on the download button and download it to save as JPG or I just click on this image and it zooms up. In case of Outlook, I can select the image, right click on it and click on save as picture to save the file as a JPG. I'll go back to the Gmail window, press Windows key Shift and S. The pointer changes into a selecting tool. I'll take the area in which the table is visible and the screenshot is taken over here. I can click on it and check if it is correct. Now I'll switch over to Excel. The picture is saved on the clipboard. Therefore, I can directly go to the data menu. Click on get data. Then scroll down to from other sources and then select from picture. In the from picture menu, we have two options, picture from file and picture from clipboard. We can select picture from file if I have saved the JPG on my local computer. But since I have taken a screenshot, I will click on picture from clipboard. Power Query will start analyzing the picture and present to you a preview of the data. Now in this small window, I can see the image on top and the data that is present in that particular image. The review button is not available because there are no corrections to be made in this data and the picture has been read successfully by Power Query. In case if there are any corrections or doubts, this button will be enabled. Now I'll click on insert data and it will give me a small message which says that I will be responsible for validating the accuracy of all data. I'll click on insert and the numbers or the data in the table is converted into Excel format. It is very important that we take care of the zoom percentage while taking the screenshot. This is the same data table which is taken at a lesser zoom percentage and therefore in the table below you will find jumbled up characters because Power Query is confused. It has given us the review button 
and when I click on it, it shows that I have to review 42 items on this conversion. If I click on these arrow buttons, it will take me to the sections which needs an input from me and it is equivalent of typing the data that I read on screen and it defeats the purpose. Therefore, we need to ensure that the zoom percentage of the image is high. So this is how Power Query can read text from images and publish them onto an Excel worksheet. I hope this video added another tool to your data analysis toolkit. We will meet again in another exciting video very soon. Stay tuned. Bye bye and take care.